Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. I'm doing this poem as part of a contest, so you're gonna watch me live as I go through my thoughts as I'm coding. Uh, there'll be an explanation near the end, and for more context, there'll be a link below on the actual screencast of the contest. Uh, how did you do? Let me know how you do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and here we go. All right, it's a bit of time. Uh, diagonal traverse two. So this one, um, yeah, I mean, I just kind of, uh, Yeah, I mean, this one, I was trying to read it carefully, uh, and I actually have a bit of a typo here, but I was like, okay, I know how, how to do this. Uh, the n is only 10 to the fifth, uh, so I was thinking about maybe there's like an n square funky way, but now since there's only at most n to the fifth elements, um, uh, we're just going to sort it by the index number, and that's essentially what I end up doing, and I only talk about also just slightly under three minutes to do this problem uh there is an early typo see if you could spot it But yeah, so what I'm doing now is just uh, so doing sorting, and I was like, okay, uh, I know that I wanted to sort by the diagonal because that's the situation. Um, and then now I just want to make sure that I get the uh, the columns and not the uh, and not the rows. Um, but otherwise, this I just mostly it. Oh yeah, I got a range. So this is the typo that uh, <laughs> you should see if you spot. I mean, obviously this is not a square. Um, not a square uh, or a rectangular uh, matrix. So, and I ran and I was like, oh wait, I did, that's a silly mistake. I had to do that. So that added about 20 seconds. Uh, and then now, looking at the answers, I was like, huh, all the numbers are sorted. That doesn't seem right. So there's another silly mistake, which is that uh, I was going to start putting things out, and I was just like, oh, I didn't sort it. That seems like a very obvious thing to wanting to do, and that looks okay. So I submit uh, pretty soon, and that's it. That's Q3. Um, uh, did you know Traverse 2? Um, so yeah, so the idea that I had here was, and some of this is experience, um, uh, is that, you know, given all these diagonals, uh, well, you know that there'll be at most n numbers where n is uh, 10 to the fifth, which is 100,000, so I am going to be able to get away with n log n algorithm, uh, and that's what I did here uh, by doing sorting, and what did I sort on? Well, we know that we're going to have to number the columns in some way, oh, sorry, number the diagonals in some way, and then the column uh, as a secondary sort, uh, so that's essentially what I did here. Um, and, and some of this is experience and practice with grid problems, uh, with diagonals. Uh, I think there's no easy way around it. But the way that I was thinking about it was, well, your question might be that, uh, how do you come up X plus Y and how do you come up so quickly? Well, actually, I don't know if I would have, uh, um, I don't know if, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's um, a standard way of doing it. And I kind of got lucky with the X plus Y being right. Uh, but from what I know, from what I uh, practice, is that there's only going to be a couple of ways to uh, order the diagonals and number diagonals. Uh, so one is x plus y, uh, which you saw, and then the other is, uh, uh, well, technically, rho minus x plus uh, y. Um, so I've kind of um, separate that out. Uh, and then another one is r minus x plus r minus y. Uh, and there's technically minus one on both sides to if you want to be more precise. Um, and then there's uh, just the regular x plus r minus y. So these three, these four things would uh, determine the ordered possible diagonals. Uh, and actually, um, 
given the way that we did it, there are only two other two possible diagonals, right? Because instead of me trying to figure out which of uh, either this or this to sort by, um, because they're going to have the same diagonal values, uh, and you know, these are just kind of the ordering about the diagonals. Uh, there, there are only two diagonals, but uh, four diagonals in which ordering from you know from top left to bottom right or from bottom right to top left, uh, and these are the four. Uh, ways that I would label these diagonals, and that's just something that um, I got from experience. I don't know if I've read it anywhere. So, so it's something that I, with much practice you could kind of see these patterns. Uh, and from that, uh, I just picked this one just to kind of see what it would give me. Uh, and from that, the, it's easy to see that uh, the secondary sort is by uh, columns uh, because given a, you know, from lower left to low, uh, yeah, lower left to the top right, you could see that you know the column goes from left to right, and you could also do negative x for that reason because you know you're going from bottom to to top uh, and none of them is going to share the same column because that's the point of a diagonal so that's how I um, yeah so it's n log n time uh, and and yeah uh, not I mean depending on how you want to say it the, it it takes a little bit more space uh, at a linear space depending on how you want to I mean I could have sorted in twice for not the new extra space, but I was just typing it in. Uh, in the contest mode, you're going to be trying to be fast, so that's so some of this code is not going to be perfect, or a lot of this code is not going to be perfect, but it works well enough, and that's all I needed. Um, you probably could do something where um, you probably could do something with walking the uh, the diagonals, uh, but that's actually a little bit trickier. With I mean, well, that's a lot trickier to implement and. Complexity is going to be m or r times c or n times m, whatever you want to call it, uh, because there are all these gaps and you don't know when to be able to skip the gaps. I mean, you can maybe construct some lists uh, and optimizations around it, but uh, but can you do it consistently linear time? I, I don't know. So uh, so n log on um, n log n, where n is the number of elements in the entire matrix, uh, is for me pretty good. Um, And yeah, and so I did it this way uh, in terms of implementation, but you actually could even do it in place by having a a, a, a sort of a lambda function. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's why for this problem. Uh, and in terms of interview and and stuff like this, um, I mean it's a cute problem. I don't. There's not enough depth for this to be a good interview problem, in my opinion, uh, only because. You know, either you get it or you don't, maybe. And if you don't, you're gonna struggle a lot for a lot of different cases. And and um, and it's implementation-wise a little tricky enough that uh, I don't know if I would, uh, you know, like try to understand someone's thought process through something like this. Uh, but yeah, but that's why I for this one. Um, cool. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I suppose. <laughs>